welcome to another edition of Calcio with Rino Z. This is your fellow Paisano speaking, and we're going to talk about this game coming tomorrow. Inter Milan versus Juventus. Before anything, put a like and subscribe. Why I want to do like this little pre-game myself. You know, Inter, you are one of the biggest rivalry of all time. Yesterday, lucky enough, well, lucky enough, because the guy went to do show with Anthony Inter World Wild. Uh, he said he's one of the good Interisti I, I met. So we had a good show yesterday with um, Bianconeri Zone, Alejandro. And one of his uh, friends from the in the world wide the interest to interest to Juventini, he said it could be a tie. For me, I see the same thing. Could be a tie tomorrow. Then we'll wait and see because tomorrow I'm going to be with the Juventus club of Vancouver. So hopefully, see a good, great match. Not a sleeping beauty match, but a beautiful one. I know it could end up a Cadenaccio show between uh, Inzaghi and our boy Allegri. They're going to park the bus both ways and out of that gym. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see because when these games come, especially Inter Juve, it's like the main event of WrestleMania. Because tomorrow we're, we're going to find out who will be first. For me personally, whoever will be first tomorrow, it doesn't mean it's gonna end the scudetto race. Uh, the scudetto race. I know we heard from a lot of people, especially from IFTV. Marco said, "If Inter wins, the scudetto race is over." Well, excuse me. If you went to wins, the scudetto race is not over. Like it doesn't make sense with this guy. You know, no judge on what Inter is doing. Yeah, they are the the good team in Italy, but they're not the Real Madrid of Italy. You know what I mean? Because even the latest games, yes, they got the job done, but it's not that we've seen that consistently like we've seen it at the beginning of the season. So it's always a team you got to be careful. As much I hate their guts, you know that, as much they hate us. But I'm pretty sure some interest say the reality, like my boy Anthony. Uh, but we just got to wait and see. Let's wait and see, and let's let the magic happened. A good clean fight, that's all I want. Good soccer. Even one of my buddies in Teresa said, yeah, I don't want to do nothing with the reps, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So let's hope to see a good one. Because now Milan win today, they are four points behind us. So if we lose tomorrow, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it won't be easy. Which I don't think Milan is going to catch up because Milan, uh, I don't watch the game today. They're not gonna go over third place, in my opinion. We'll see what happens with the Europa League, but uh, not really too impressive. But you always gotta be careful, you know. And the same with Inter, if they lose, they gotta be careful too. One point ahead, so five points from Milan, so because they have Champions League, <laughs> so you don't want any trouble, at least both of them. But at my end, I want to see some good news. A friend of mine from Italy said 2-1. Uh, another friend of mine said he's gonna, we're going to win. He didn't specify. But I trust my friend from Italy because he predicted 1-1 with Empoli. So he's predicting 2-1 for Juventus. But I hope so. Besides that, pretty much I think there is both of the teams. They have the their players, which in our end case is going to play after. We both hear the conference thumba on both of them. To press conference from Inzaghi and Allegri. My two cents, you can tell that Allegri, sotto sotto, underneath, he wants to win this and he wants to win the Scudetto. I know he plays these mind games, but today you can tell that he really wants to... He's, in, he's believing it. He doesn't show it, but you can tell based what he said today. And the same Inzaghi, uh, you know, because it's sturdy with Inter. If he doesn't win the Scudetto, on his, on his hand, it could be failure. But in our hand, it could be failure too. 
Because having a liquid three years, you're not winning nothing. Not good. But in this case, they got the players adapt for the Scudetto and compete in Champions League, which, of course, you need bigger players with Champions League. But that was their process since the beginning. We uh, was fourth place. We did not know if they were going to be in this position. I know we have one Campionato. I know Alec is doing a good job at this moment with the players. So let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Let's be patient. Let's enjoy these games. And I will chat with you lovebirds tomorrow. Sempre fino alla fine. A casa Inter. Forza Juve. Viva Debra d'Italia. And let's kick some ass. Like and subscribe. Ciao, ciao, la Juve.